Hi and welcome, my name is Mans and you are watching the Hydonza region. Today we are going underground to discover 6 new species of Pokemon. The Drill Pokemon and the Minecraft Pokemon. I hope you are as excited about these Pokemon as I am. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new discoveries in the future. The first Pokemon out today is Rupti. Is based on this tiny strange pink creature with a huge blue nose that I made when I was five. Naturally over the years it changed a lot and its nose eventually became a drill. It took a while before I found a creature to base it on. Eventually it all came together when I decided on naked mole rats. Not a pretty creature at all but I promise I will make it cute. Imagine Rufus from Kim Possible with a drill nose. I also got inspiration from Spink from the Futurist Wild documentary. And in order to make it more interesting looking and not so naked, I made part of its body covered in mud. With all the references ready, I started drawing. And one of the first things I changed was its drill arms into shuffles. I felt that since it already had a drill on its face, it would be unnecessary to have it on its arms as well and it would make more sense for digging to have shuffles to scoop away all the remains from the drilling that it will do because obviously its head is front and center while digging. Obviously he's standing up straight in this image but I imagine him digging much like the badger moles in Avatar The Last Airbender. I also decided to give it more rodent-like teeth since I remember in an interview with Kensugumori where he explained that how the Pokemon eat influences their design and trust me this is gonna be important when it evolves. Just picture this little guy running around making holes in rocks and ground near bodies of water. The name Rapti comes from Rutrum, Latin for shuffle plus sand puppy, which is another name for naked mole rats. Rotpi, the naked mole rat Pokemon. Steel ground type. Ability, sand veil and sand force. Hidden ability, water compaction. Dex entry, Rapti lives in colonies up to 300 subordinates. Each colony has a queen. Their nests are built nearby bodies of water. The bigger colonies can usually be found in deep underground caves, but smaller colonies have been recorded closer to the surface. Rotpi's shuffle arms and drill-like nose make them remarkable at digging. Modern tools are inspired by this Pokemon. Its shiny is more based on its original colors and I also flipped the mud patterns. See, I told you, I will make it cute. Rupti evolves at level 25 into Drillhog. Drillhog's name originates from Drill plus Hedgehog. Drillhog has been one of my favorite ever since I was a kid. It looks so strange and cool at the same time. And just like with its pre-evolution Rupti, it took a while before I found a creature to base it on. I landed on Hedgehogs because I got inspired by the way Sonic spin and thought I could use that as a way for it to dig and move around quickly. Before I landed on hedgehogs I tried to give Drillhog fur several times but it just looked too strange. With the hedgehog inspiration its fur now had a purpose given its spikes and also justifying it's still typing even more, it just all came together. Another very important part of its design was its goggle-like eyes, which I have always thought to be super cool. But why would it make sense from a design perspective other than being cool? What I came up with was that Drillhog developed these features to better adapt to light and cover its eyes from all the digging. I think that is a pretty cool design excuse to keep the goggles. Don't you think? And since we talked about teeth for his pre-evolution, Drillhug's teeth are more cartoony. 
I know you might think, but doesn't that change what you just said when it comes to Rupti? Just, just wait, because this will make sense when it evolves again. And that said, I do imagine it having rolling like teeth, it just doesn't show like it does with Rupti in its art. And I do imagine that Drillhog has the same personality as Sonic. Drillhog, the Drill Pokemon. Steel, ground type. Ability, iron barbs and sand force. Hidden ability, water compaction. Jack Sentry. They have developed goggles that protect their eyes, making them even more efficient diggers. Their backs has large steel spikes used for making tunnels by spinning. Even though they are well adapted for digging, they are more often observed patrolling and standing guard for their colony. They often end up fighting Mind Cube for territory. Its shiny is based on its original design from 998. Let me know what you think about this spiky boy. And in order to evolve Drillhog, you need to use a water stone. Doing so will make it evolve into Aquagera. Its name comes from Aqua plus Quadrupled plus Badger plus Terra. But despite evolving with a water stone, it's not a water type. But it has water-like attributes. I wish that Game Freak would do this more with stone evolutions rather than change typing and design, just add design elements that are associated with the stone. This could lead to many cool Pokemon designs in my opinion. In recent generations, Game Freak have already done this with a handful of Pokemon that lived in water but are not water types, such as Malamar and Grappalock. And for those of you who have paid attention, have recognized that I've hinted to water having an importance to this evolution line through their deck entries and hidden abilities. Aquagera was first made in 1998. Though just as a half finished design and for that it was left out for years. I didn't really like his design and I thought it was an unnecessary evolution. But in 2014 I made a sketch, totally different from earlier designs, that ended up looking really cool. But when I revisited it recently I still felt that something was missing. When I decided on the rodent like theme I knew I wanted the Badger as the final evolution. Many attempts were made before I finally got the aquatic theme ID. Aquagera is primarily based on a pre whale, an animal that we believe spends some time in water but isn't fully aquatic yet. In addition, I based it so like teeth on the chainsaw shark, which also works wonders for its subterranean theme. And like with its pre evolutions, it takes huge inspiration from badger molds from Avatar The Last Airbender. Its shuffle like claws work as a digging equipment and fins for swimming. Its teeth are much like whale teeth, but also work as a filtering mechanism, filtering only the most nutritious dirt to be consumed. And this makes Drillhog's teeth make more sense as well because it's in between stage from very normal rodent like teeth to a more whale like approach. Aquagera, the subterrene Pokemon, steel ground type, ability steam engine and storm drain, hidden ability water compaction, dex entry. When Drillhog is exposed to a water stone it evolves into Aquagera. This activated its DNA to gain aquatic attributes. This has given it the ability to not only live underwater, but swim through the earth as if it was water. Most wild aquageras are observed to be female. The reason for this is because the colony brings water stones to its queen and princesses, who usually operates within the depth of underground lakes. Male Aquageras are usually high ranking, serving as construction or defensive commanders. A shiny is white, referencing its unfinished first design from 1998. What do you think about Aquagera? And the whole evolution line? 
I like the theme I created and I love how much thoughts I put into their designs. But enough with the rodents, time for what most of you are here for. Next up I'm excited to show you the Minecraft inspired Pokemon and how they were made. Starting out with Qbert, and no it's not a reference to Qbert the game, it gets the name from Cube plus Dirt. Qbert is inspired by a fake online my friend Hawkum made in 2003 of a flying block. As a kid, one of my favorite things to do was to come up with creature designs. And when my friends joined me and made their own creature designs, I absolutely loved it. And I kept most of them for all these years. Hokon created many interesting designs, this line being one of my personal favorites. And I continued to redesigning it for many years to come. When I wanted to redraw them again in late 2001 for a video, I started up making them look very similar to their original designs. Then I suddenly got the idea to take inspiration from Minecraft. It was basically already there being a cube and its hair looked like grass. Though elements such as its fin or what could be considered as balls definitely had to go. With this new inspiration, I based Qbert on the dirt block, the iron block and also elements of the furnace. While it's shiny is of course based on the diamond block. Qbert also works brilliant for my region's lore and origin and has such huge potential for different forms. Qbert, the block Pokemon. Rock ground type ability weak armor and arena trap hidden ability sturdy habitat field grasslands and mountains dex entry the soil that cubert leaves behind creates the perfect condition for farming it is currently under investigation for how many different forms it potentially has it has recently been discovered that the Hydonsu region largely exists thanks to the existence of Qbert. This is evident by the continued growth of the region. What do you think about Qbert and its concept in general? Let me know. And let's evolve it, because at level 25, Qbert evolved into Mine Cube. From mining plus cube. Like Qbert, Minecube is inspired by my friend Hawkorn's drawings, originally looking like a terrifying cube with two leaves for hands with something looking like muscles, long legs with huge fluffy feet and a stone on top of its head. It's already there, there was no doubt what I would use for inspiration. The creeper of course, though I also wanted to be true to the original design in addition, I based it on miners, the stone block and iron tools. A true representation of all things Minecraft, don't you think? With its shiny referencing the creeper even more, with also referencing gold blocks and tools. I played around with the idea that rocks on its head were shaped like mining helmets with lights on top. But it didn't look the way I wanted, and the idea that its eyes are glowing in the dark makes it more terrifying. It was a challenge to find a balance between looking like a Minecraft character, but also keeping its original design. Minecube, the creepy Pokemon. Rock ground type. Ability, sand, force, and arena trap. Hidden ability, sturdy. Habitat, caves and mountains. Dex Entry Minecube walks around in caves. Its feet make almost no sound. It has a tendency to self-destruct if someone comes too close. Minecube digs for minerals underground. The tips of the leaves have become solid iron, perfectly adapted for mining. They often mine in caves originally made by Drillhog. I hope you like Minecube as much as I do, and if not, maybe you like its evolution more. Giving a psychic gem to Minecube, it will evolve into Rocky Stellar. 
Rocky Stellar's name originates from rock plus crystal plus protector. Just like with its pre-evolution, Rocky Stellar were first created by my friend Håkon. Its original design was a yellow screaming square with a fussy arms and legs that lifts a huge stone over its head. Out of the three, Rocky Stellar is the one that has changed the most over the years. Its current design is mostly based on sketch I made in 2012. It's much more loosely based on Minecraft in comparison to the other two. My idea is that it's a worn out Minecraft block merged with a more realistic environment and elements, making it almost alien to this world. In an earlier sketch I had it carry around a huge stone, much like in its original design, but with the introduction of Minecraft I decided to base it on the amethyst biome, which leads to the stone being replaced with a huge crystal instead. Crystals are considered to have psychic and spiritual powers, hence its psychic typing. Its name, Rocky Stellar, also references to how I imagine it to live in the wild deep underground in crystal caves protecting and nurturing crystals, attacking anything that threatens them. However, its shiny takes more inspiration from Minecraft and is based on refined diamond blocks. Rocky Stellar, the crystal Pokemon. Rock Psychic type. Ability Sturdy and Share Force. Hidden ability Psychic Surge. Habitat Caves and Mountains. Dex Entry. Rocky Stellar protects the huge crystal caves deep under the Hydonsa region. The crystals is believed to be the origin of the Hydonsa region. Rocky Stellar communicates with the crystals telepathically and protects it from anyone that happens to come close, making it almost impossible to study the crystals. Rocky Stellar is remarkably intelligent with a strong spiritual presence and has become the icon for alternative practices on the island. What do you think about Rocky Stellar and its whole line? Hopefully you like it as much as I do. But as always, I'm open to criticism. Which line would you have on your team and why? The Minecraft Pokemon or the Drill Pokemon? Or maybe you want to have both? Coming up, uh, I do plan to revisit some earlier created Pokemon videos that I posted on my other channels. But I do plan to make every other video with brand new Pokemon and who knows, potentially adding new ones within the old videos as well. And as always, here is a tease for an upcoming video. I'm looking forward to hear your guesses. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe because there is more to come and in the meantime check out this video where I make Pokemon based on predators and confidence. So I will see you over there and until next time let's draw them all in the next episode. Mads out.